Hello, people. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. En esta ocasión, tengo de diferentes estilos de la colección El Salvador se ve más. Ok, let me get the attendance list. Okay, please respond when you hear your name, okay? Carlos Alberto Martinez. Present. Okay. Claudia Maria Garcia. Present. Okay. David Alonso Mejia. David Alonso Mejia. Present teacher. Okay. Evelyn Janet Marroquín. Present teacher. Okay. Francisco Alexander Villafuerte. Glendy Elisette Flores. Present. Okay. Lisa Pu, Elizabeth Torres. Present teacher. Okay. Isaura Evelia Vázquez. Present teacher. Okay. Jacqueline Rebecca Cermeño. No. Luis Fernando Linares. Present teacher. Okay. Marco Antonio Quijano. Natalie Rebecca Peña. Present teacher. Okay. Nubia Cristina Morales. Present teacher. Okay. Odir Omar Soriano. Raúl Antonio Pérez. Present teacher. Rebeca Jonel Hernández. Present teacher. Okay. Renato Salvador Ramírez. Present teacher. Ok. René Giovanni Martínez. Ruth Marielo Samaya. Present. Okay. Saúl Alexander Lozano. Present. Ok. Silvia Tatiana Acosta. Present. Ok. Francisco Alexander. Present teacher. Okay, Jacqueline Rebecca, Marco Antonio, Odir Omar. Present. Odir Omar. Present. Present teacher. Okay. Odir. René Giovanni. Uh, 
Alfa Antonio, I see you here, but you don't respond. Yes, I'm here. I'm calling you and you don't respond. Okay. Okay. Okay, people, let's get started. We we'll start with unit fifteen or the last unit, I think. Sure. Look at these stories of honesty. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know if I had done that. Okay. Some stories of honesty. Let me see. Uh, David, can you read the first one? Can you read this story? David Alonso. <clears throat> yes, teacher. Tax. Taxi drivers returns Brazilian soccer players World Cup gold medal and six sixty thousand dollars is awarded with one thousand in souvenirs. Okay, interesting. Let's see. Glendy. Can you read this one, please? Businessman tracks down owner and is I I don't remember the the count. Seven hundred fifty thousand. Seven hundred fifty thousand, and is tens. Only with a phone call. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's see. Isaura, can you read this one, please? Okay. A student turns detective to find owner of those cash credit cards, oral lines, tickets, and yearly. I am an honest man, the student tells relief owner. Okay. Uh, Saul Alexander, please read this one. Homeless mom and three kids return lost 400 check to owner. Owner helps family move into house of their own. Okay. Wow. What would you do in this situation, people? Would you do the same? Definitely. Definitely. Okay. Well, 60,000 is a big temptation. <laughs> okay. Have you ever found any valuable? Have you ever found anything valuable? Like a ring? Yeah, anything valuable. Yeah. My mother. Okay, 
And what did you do? Was valued in, I don't remember, but $500. Wow. Yeah. And what did you do? And she returns the ring to the to the own. Uh, how can I say? The owner. The the owner. Yeah. Oh. Okay. What is the meaning for that kind of people? She is very honest. Honest. Yeah. Honest. Okay. Okay. Anyone else, people, has found anything valuable? I, I remember once in a taxi, when I got into the taxi, there was a cell phone on the seat. And well, I was, uh, well, I took the cell phone and I was waiting for the owner to call. That is what usually happens, right? The owner calls and I was pretending to uh, respond, to take, to respond him and return the cell phone to the owner. And exactly that happened. While I was riding on the taxi, the owner called and I answered. And I told him, hey, I found your cell phone here in the taxi. And he told me, okay, give the, give the cell phone to the taxi driver. And I gave the cell phone to the taxi driver. But the funny thing is that the taxi driver told me, well, they agreed how to return the cell phone. And the taxi driver told me, I just dropped him at a motel. He, he just dropped the owner to a motel. And he forgot the cell phone in the taxi. It was funny, you know. Poor guy was worried and he didn't enjoy the time at the motel because of the cell phone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. But the taxi driver knew where he was and he was going to return the cell phone to him. Okay. That was funny. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> Poor guy. Okay. So honest people. Let's take a look to this conversation here. Well, look at the picture. Uh, before reading the conversation, look at the picture and tell me, what do you see in the picture? What do you see here? Hello, tell me. They are dreams. They are, they are dreams or they are dreaming? They are dreaming. Okay. And a possibility. Okay, what are they dreaming about? About money, about rich. Ah, okay. About win the lottery. Winning the lottery. Lottery. <laughs> okay, anyone else, people? That's all. I may, I may, I may. I'm sorry. Um, 
the money and return. What do you mean? I don't get the idea. Come on, people, speak to me. I may see two people in a, in a conversation uh -huh. talking about seven fifty thousand dollars return. I think to. The owners, I don't know. And the other one, I think, is a lady in a, in a, how do you say that? Uh, in Las Vegas, I think, in the machine, like. The casino. In the, in the casino, yeah, yeah. The casino. Yeah, okay. Thank Have you, you ever, huh? Huh? Insurance rector. Okay. Have you ever been to a casino? Yes, I did. No, I've never been. Okay. Which casino did you go, Raul? Um, it's in... I don't remember exactly. It's close. It's after. It's um. Here in El Salvador. No, it's not here. It's in the United States. Ah, okay. okay. Yeah. What in Las Vegas? It has been. In... It's close to Las Vegas, but it's not Las Vegas. It's, ah. it's not in Las Vegas. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Okay. Did you win any money? Did you make any money? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, good. Okay, let's take a look to the conversation then. Let me read the conversation and report it here for you first. Look at this. Some guy found $750,000. He returned it, and the owner thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I'd go straight to Las Vegas and try my luck at the, in the casino. I could double the money in a day and keep $750 for myself. You might also lose it all in a day, and then you could go to jail. Hmm, you've got a point there. <laughs> okay. One more time, let me read it for you. Look at this, some guy found $750,000. He returned it and the owner thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding, if I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why, what would you do? Well, I'd go straight to Las Vegas and try my luck in the casinos. I could double the money in a day and keep 750000 for myself. You might also lose it all in a day, and then you could go to jail. Hmm, you got a point there. Okay. Let me show you a couple of videos we have in the platform for this topic, okay? Give me a second to prepare the videos. Okay. I think we have the conversation here.
Okay, look at this. What would you do if you found lots of money? Listen to the conversation and find out what these two people would do. If I found $750,000, part A, listen and practice. Look at this. Some guy found $750,000. He returned it and the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I'd go straight to the mall and spend it. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out about it, and then you could go to jail. Hmm, you've got a point there. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What would Phil do if he found $750,000? So, what would you do if you found $750,000? Oh, you know me, Pat. I'm so honest, I scare myself sometimes. I'd take the money straight to the police. I guess that wouldn't be such a bad idea. Maybe you'd be luckier than the guy in the article. Maybe the owner of the money would give you a big reward. Well, they say honesty pays, right? Tell us, what would you really do if you found a wallet full of money or an expensive cell phone? Type your answers on our discussion box. Don't worry, we won't tell anyone. What would you do if you found lots of money? Listen to the conversation and find out what these two people would do. If I found $750,000, part A, listen and practice. Look at this. Some guy found $750,000. He returned it and the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I'd go straight to the mall and spend it. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out about it, and then you could go to jail. Hmm, you've got a point there. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What would Phil do if he found $750,000? So, what would you do if you found $750,000? Oh, you know me, Pat. I'm so honest, I scare myself sometimes. I'd take the money straight to the police. I guess that wouldn't be such a bad idea. Maybe you'd be luckier than the guy in the article. Maybe the owner of the money would give you a big reward. Well, they say honesty pays, right? Tell us, what would you really do if you found lots of money? What expensive cell phone? Type your answers on our discussion box. Don't worry, we won't tell anyone. Okay. Now, think about that. What would you do? If you found a lot of money, think about that, and I will ask you later, okay? Now let's take a look to the grammar topic on real conditional with if clauses. Hi, are you ready to describe imaginary situations? You will learn to do so after the audio program and our explanation. Unreal conditional sentences with if clauses. Unreal conditional sentences describe imaginary situations with simple past forms and consequences in the present. What would you do if you found $750,000? If I found $750,000, I would go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I'd go straight to the mall. If I found 
I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. If I found $750,000, I might go to the police. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. This is what Unreal Conditional is about. Unreal Conditional describes imaginary situations. Let's begin with the structure of it. An Unreal Conditional is made out of two clauses, the if clause and the main clause. Let's work first on the if clause. This one is formed with if plus a past simple verb. Let's move on to the main clause. In this part, we may use would, could, or might plus verb in simple present. We want you to pay attention to the following. Clauses may change position. If clause may be first or vice versa, but you need to watch your punctuation. The use of comma is mandatory when the if clause is at the beginning. Read the following example and notice the use of a comma. But when the if clause is at the end of the sentence, we do not use a comma. Finally, we have some examples for you. If she had a lot of money, she could buy a new apartment. They would be happy if they won the lottery. If he were president, he might reduce taxes. Now that you have learned about Unreal Conditional in class, I want you to take turns asking and answering questions. What would you do if you saw a burglar in your home? If you found a diamond ring? If your friend wanted to marry someone you didn't trust? Type your answers as well in our discussion box. Hi, are you ready to describe imaginary situations? You will learn to do so after the audio program and our explanation. Unreal conditional sentences with if clauses. Unreal conditional sentences describe imaginary situations with simple past forms and consequences in the present. What would you do if you found $750,000? If I found $750,000, I would go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I'd go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. If I found $750,000, I might go to the police. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. This is what Unreal Conditional is about. Unreal Conditional describes imaginary situations. Let's begin with the structure of it. An Unreal Conditional is made out of two clauses, the if clause and the main clause. Let's work first on the if clause. This one is formed with if plus a past simple verb. Let's move on to the main clause. In this part, we may use would, could, or might plus verb in simple present. We want you to pay attention to the following. Clauses may change position. If clause may be first or vice versa, but you need to watch your punctuation. The use of comma is mandatory when the if clause is at the beginning. Read the following example and notice the use of a comma. But when the if clause is at the end of the sentence, we do not use a comma. Finally, we have some examples for you. If she had a lot of money, she could buy a new apartment. They would be happy if they won the lottery. If he were president, he might reduce taxes. Now that you have learned about Unreal Conditional in class, I want you to take turns asking and answering questions. What would you do if you saw a burglar in your home? If you found a diamond ring, if your friend wanted to marry someone you didn't trust, type your answers as well in our discussion box. Okay.
So as they say, on real conditionals, describe imaginary uh, situations. Okay, on real conditional sentences, describe imaginary situations and consequences in the present. Imaginary situations and consequences in the present. Okay. What would you do if you found $750,000? The imaginary situation, we use the simple past form. Look, if I found $750,000, so we use the simple past form of the verb in the imaginary situation imaginary situation begins with if and we are going to use uh, for the imaginary consequence we're going to use models would might or could for the consequence I wouldn't return it I might go to Las Vegas I could double it in a casino I would go straight to the police okay for the consequence, we're going to use would, might, could with the base form of the verb. Okay? Any questions so far? No? Okay. So uh, remember that if the verb in this situation, if the verb is be, for example, if I, and we're going to use the verb be. The correct form is where, if I were, Millionaire, da -da -da. if I were millionaire, so we we are not going to use was. If she were millionaire, if he were millionaire. Okay, so remember that with he, she, I, we normally use was, but not in this case. In unreal condition, we are going to use were. Okay, if I were, if she were, if he were. All right. That is actually in formal English. But in informal English, you are going to hear people using was. If I was, if he was, if she was. But that is informal. And it is not grammatically correct. Any question, people? Okay. There are no questions. Let me show you the exercise to practice. You have to match the conditions with the consequence or the situation with the consequence. Okay? 
For example, if I found a burglar in my home, what would you do? I'd break a window to get in. I could think of ways to invest it. I might not tell anybody. I'd probably call the police. I guess I might spend it. I might tell a sales clerk. I'd run to my neighbor for help. I could get a set of keys from my friend. Letter D. Letter B? D. I probably call the police, yes. Ah, okay. Let me write the letter. If I found a burglar in my home, letter B, I'd probably call the police. Okay. Teacher. Uh huh. Is the letter D? One? The letter D, but you wrote the letter oh, B. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Letter D. Yes. Okay. Number two, if I saw someone shoplifting. You know what is shoplifting? No, teacher. Okay, when someone is trying to steal something from a shop. We save a haze, all is no violence, no violence. Then I choose letter F. I might tell a sales clerk. No. Yes. If I saw someone shoplifting, I might tell a sales clerk. Do you agree, people? Teacher, what is the meaning of sales clerk? Sales clerk? Is the salesperson yes. in a store? Okay, then I guess I, I agree with the letter F. Okay. Number three, if I found seven five thousand dollars on the street, Letter C. Letter C. <laughs> no. Yeah. Letter E. <laughs> For me, letter uh, C. Yeah, okay. I, I I know, I know. Well, let's say, let's write it. Okay, no problem. There is no, as they say here, more than one answer may be possible. I think I would do the same. <laughs> But it's dangerous, you know. You know who are the owners of that money and they might come for it. I've seen many movies of that. <laughs> if the teacher gave me an A on a test by mistake, If the teacher gave me an A on a test by mistake. In, the, the, uh, in that sentence, if for me, letter C. Ah, okay, okay, no problem. Let's write letter C here. again. Number five, if I locked myself out of my house, If I lock myself out of my house. Little H. Little H, I could get a set of keys from my friend. 
Okay, that's possible. If I won a million dollars in a lottery, If I won a million dollars in a lottery, letter E. I guess I might spend it. Ah. Okay. Now, notice again that in the if sentence, all of the verbs are in past, simple past. If I found, if I saw, if I found, if the teacher gave me, if I log, if I won. You see? Always the verb in the simple past. And for the uh, consequence, we use would, I'd, I could, I might, I might not in this case, I'd, would, I guess I might, I might, I would, I could, and if you notice, the verb is in the base form, I'd break, I could think, I might not tell, I'd probably fall, the verb in the base form, I might spend it, I might tell, I'd Run. I could get. Okay. Okay, teacher. Good. Any question, people? No, teacher. Okay, now, so. We work on, on this exercise with these possible situations, okay? But now I want you to use your own response, your own answer to these situations, okay? What would you do if you found a burglar in your home? If you saw someone shoplifting. Okay, and, and don't don't write the same answer, okay? So you have to use different, not this one. Don't use this the answers on exercise B. I want you to give different response. Not necessarily real, use your imagination, respond with funny answers okay but i want you to do that i will give you uh, 10 minutes to respond this okay so if i found a burglar in my home i would help him to find any money because i don't have i would help him to find any money for example, because I don't have any, uh, or whatever, okay? So, respond by yourselves, okay? I will put this in WhatsApp to help you with that.
Okay, people, I like to hear some of your sentences. Okay. Let's see. Let me start with. Uh, let's see, Marco, Marco Antonio, what would you yes. do yes. if you found a burglar in your home? I will call the police. Okay. Let's practice with a complete sentence using the, the condition, the situation, and the and the consequence. Uh, I mean, if I found a burglar in my home, I would call the police, just to practice. Okay? So one more time, Marco, what would you do if you found a burglar, a burglar in your home? I would call the police. Oh, I want a complete sentence. Okay, if I found a burglar in... If I found a burglar in my in my house, I will call the police. Yeah, that's it. Perfect. Just to practice, okay? Thank you, Marco. Uh, what about you, David? What would you do if you saw someone shoplifting? If I saw someone shoplifting, I would call the security. Ah, okay. Uh, Isaura, what would you do if you found seven five thousand dollars on the street? I will take care of it. <laughs> okay, give me a complete sentence, please. Okay, if I found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars, I will take care of it. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Zaul, what would you do if your teacher gave, gave you an A on a test by mistake? If a teacher gave me an A on a test by mistake, I may tell my instructor Tell your, your what? I'm <laughs> sorry. My, to my, what do you say, encargado, ahí del, del, ¿cómo se dice, directores ahí en, en, en la escuela? Really? To the principal? Yeah, the main principal, I'm sorry. Okay. I don't think so, but anyway. <laughs> Okay, Francisco, what would you do if you lock yourself out of your house? If I lock, lock it myself out of my house, I will, uh, I will, uh, it? Is it fine? No, um, I will call my ex and say to, to I go to the house. I return <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Good excuse. So you throw the key away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Evelyn. What would you do if you won a million dollars in a lottery? Um if is I in is I a uh, call uh, have a uh, much I know say how do you say refugios <laughs> uh, the animal oh shelters animal shelters yeah okay but uh, okay but what, what I want a complete sentence Evelyn if okay. I won a million dollars in a lottery, I would do the di di da. Eh, sería I. Pero I, desde I, el principio, si we, yo me ganara un millón de dólares en la lotería. Uh, if I won the million dollars in lottery, I 
I would I would have a blending a <laughs> how do you say uh, how do you say eh, eh, los refugios refugios animales animal shelters animal shelter so hmm? you would have eh, you uh, I would I no I would have a building the construcciones building a I would uh, build. Uh -huh, build. I uh -huh. would build. I would build. I would build. build. I would build. A. Eh, eh, Ay, esa palabra. No, animal no shelter. An, animal sh shelter. Shelters. Shelter. Okay. Shelter. Okay. <laughs> shelter. I can shelter. 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 Look in the chat. Animal shelters. Ah, okay. Thank you. Okay. What about you, Sylvia? What would you do if you found a burglar in your house? Sylvia? Hi. Um, probably I stream aloud. <laughs> and I call my mom. If I found a burglar in my house, my home, I call my mom and also the police. Okay. I'd or I would or I'd. I will. I will. I would call my mom. Call my mom. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. uh, one more. Let's see. Nubia. Nubia, uh, Rebecca, come on, people, where are you? Yes, yes, teacher. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm working, but I'm here. <laughs> but I'm calling a lot of people with the cameras off. I have no idea if you are in class or if you're not in class. So, yes, I'm sorry. I'm reviewing the test, but, uh, yeah, I know you, you, moment, you said uh, that. You said that, no problem. Okay. Okay. I'm in for the red, so we have a lot of people here without camera. Wow. Okay, people, let's stop here. It is time 10.02 actually. Um, we'll continue tomorrow. We finish here with this. You can practice by yourselves, okay? We have, let me see eh, if there is another. Uh, well, yeah, there are an extra activity five here. There are more situations to practice. Just let me show you. You can practice with that, okay? What do you think you would do or might do in these situations? Look, what do you think you would do or might do in these situations? You found available piece of jewelry in a in a park. So how can we practice? Well, if I found a available please available piece of jewelry in a park, I would I would keep it for me. If I were on vacation overseas and lost all my money and credit cards, I would call my bank. Uh, something like that, okay? So you can practice with these sentences. Uh, and we might practice together tomorrow. Have a good night, people. And please try to... Have a good night be more available in class. We have too many people that I'm not sure if they are, if you are in class or not. That's why I asked you to try to be with your camera on. But anyways, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Bye. Bye. Bye.